We bring enlightenment. And persuasion. That too. Just think of it, Nyssa. A whole new technology. No more hunger. No more wars. Fine schools. Fine hospitals. Fine tyranny. You should guard against the arrogance of the scientists, Nyssa. As a bioengineer, you, more than most, should marvel at the might of our monarch. He led us from the Abankan slime, first to conquer the <coughs> land, then the elements, to develop the greatest technology in the universe. You must be too hard on the child enlightenment. Uh, she has uh, spirit and courage and a, a fine independence. Such qualities will be useful. She'll come round in the end. Never to tyranny. I can never forget that my father was killed by a tyrant. Well, now you're being unreasonable, Nyssa. One simply can't compare his majesty to the master. Who is this master? A time lord, your majesty, and the doctor's greatest enemy. Unless he has stopped, it will eventually destroy Earth, just as he destroyed a banker. I thought he said a banker's son was a supernova. A lie. He exhausted the planet of its minerals and then polluted it with his technology. The pollution destroyed the ozone layer and left ultraviolet light to scorch a banker. And all this for what? His great plan, for him to travel faster than light. What? Monarch is obsessed with solving the riddle of the universe. Absurd. So he believes that travel faster than light would mean going backwards in time, back to the Big Bang? And beyond. Monarch believes he will meet himself there. He believes he is God. I grieve you, my child, that your father should have met such a fate. So, this doctor of yours is also a Time Lord, eh? Yes, Your Majesty. Whence comes his power? From other Time Lords. He speaks of the one called Rassilon. There is a galactic legend about a Rassilon. He who found the Eye of Harmony. <sighs> you know very well Enlightenment. I regard such tales as uh, superstition. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. Yes, uh, tell me more about this Time Lord Doctor. He seems to be a very agreeable person. Yes. He has a powerful mind. Yes, yes. Yeah, I like that. Has he any power outside his machine? Well, he has two hearts. Oh, poor fella. That must make him very vulnerable. <laughs> and he has the ability to go into a trance that suspends life functions. Oh, that must be useful. But I'm interested in this, um, machine of his. The TARDIS? Mm -hmm. Short for time and relative dimensions in space. Fascinating. It's very small. I mean, is it not uncomfortable? No, the interior's in a different dimension. Really? Yes, it's quite Why large. Why don't you shut up? Oh, mind your manners, my dear. <laughs> Go on, boy. Oh, well, it's got a power room. It's got bathroom. It's even got cloisters. Cloisters? A covered walkway, Your Majesty, an architectural feature of ecclesiastical and educational establishments on Earth. All that inside this TARDIS? Yes, Your Majesty. Fascinating. I should love to see all this. Well, I'm quite sure the Doctor would be only too pleased to show you around. He's the only one of us who really understands it and how it operates. Oh, I like that. Could you ask this Doctor now if I could look inside his TARDIS? Of course, Your Majesty. Not you. Stop her. I have other plans for you, child. What are you going to do? Uh, don't be afraid. One only harms that which one fears. <laughs> 